I grew up in a small island in East Africa called Zanzibar. Growing in an island, you're surrounded by the sea. So you play on the beach, you fish. From childhood, I've always loved boats. When I was about eight or nine years old, I decided to build my own boat. And so I put together some pieces of wood, nailed them together, then called my friends and said, look, I've built a boat. So we took it to the sea. As soon as we put it in the water, it sank. My friends laughed and left, and I was sad, left on the beach. That's the first <laughs> boat I ever built. I'm really grateful to be here with Dr. Bawani from Ocean Co. So Dr. Bawani, again, thank you so much for having me. Can you tell me a little bit about how you got started owning Ocean Co? I was visiting Ocean Co, looking for a boat to buy. And then I understood that the shipyard was for sale. So I ended up buying the shipyard and not a yacht. <laughs> yeah. I visited the company in Holland. I was very impressed by the setup, clean environment, beautiful boats under construction, very good management. I got along with the people very well. And I decided it's time maybe I should invest in the yachting industry. It seems like yachts are actually at the top of the, the luxury pyramid, is that right? It's the mother of all luxuries. Yeah. Yeah, in, in a way it is. But at the same time, yachts are not just a luxury tool. The reality is that yachts are bought by people who want to enjoy with their, either their families or friends. At the same time, yachts today are being used for exploration, for scientific uh, data collection. So it is a luxury, but it has other elements of usage in it. Do you have clients that are coming that have very specific requirements about sustainability? Are they asking for yachts that are sustainable? That's very much so. They're asking for yachts which are very fuel efficient. I'm proud to tell you about one boat which is called the Black Pal. It's a sailing boat. It can cross the Atlantic without using one liter of fuel. It actually generates electricity as it moves. And when there's no wind, you can reuse power from your batteries. I think this is the top of the sustainability. Sustainability comes in not only just in fuel efficiency, but also in material use. For instance, we're looking at leather, but that leather is coming from... Uh, a cactus plant? From cactus yeah, plants, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It looks like leather, feels like leather, but it's from a plant. I love that. Now, super yachts have soul. It has, they have soul from the, all of the craftsmen that pour their heart and their craft into each yacht, is that right? Well, take Oshunko, for instance. A lot of the people there are working with their hands. You're building boats not by machines, by hands. Think of all the cabin builders, all the carpentry. These are people with a lot of skills. Those are hand skills that you keep alive. The perfect yacht is the client's perfect yacht. So essentially we're enablers of the client's dream. We are dream weavers.